hold it, Captain. I'm caught in this bush. <laughs> Parker, you nitwit. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Look what you've done, you boob. You ruined the whole sea. Now we gotta shoot this all over again. Back your prices. Oh, not again, Captain. You've been machine gunning us all afternoon. Have a heart, sir. We died 16 times already. You be quiet. Nobody likes a pushy bit player. <laughs> Carpenter, give me more blanks for the retakes. Yes, sir. If you men don't get this thing right, I'm gonna start using real bullets. Oh, now, look, Captain, we agreed to help you make this battle film so you could send it to your wife, but it's getting late. Yeah, and we'd kind of like to rest up for the party tonight. Yeah, that's right, Captain, the cast party that you promised us. There is not going to be any cast party unless your clodhoppers get this thing right. Do you understand that? I'll get back to your places. Back to your places. Mm. You're all right, Captain. Just a minute. Are you ready, Carpenter? Ready any time you are, WB. <laughs> All right, now quiet on the set. Now, I want realism in it this time. I want you to think like Germans and act like Germans. Now, ach, tung, mach schnell. You have all men, Captain. Oh, and don't you worry, sir. When you yell action this time, it's going to be great. I'll tell you what, I'll take this grenade, and then I'll have a real sneer on my face like a German, like this. No, you, Chuck, no, you, you activated the grenade. Throw it, throw it. Hit the dirt, you guys. <laughs> Here's your grenade, Captain. <laughs> That grenade gave me a concussion. <laughs> Captain, sir, I... <laughs> you bumbling nitty, look what you made me do now. The whole thing is... Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... Well, I, I just wanted to tell you that the villa's all set up for the cast party. Cast party? What cast party? Oh, well, the one you promised Commander McHale and his men for helping out in the movie. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Well, no, sir. You I'm think not... I'd give a party for those assassins after what they did to me out there this afternoon? But, sir, I've already made the arrangements. The food, the wine, uh, music for dancing. I have mine. Only dancing I want to see are those assassins on the end of a rope. I just cancel it. <laughs> Oh, I won't cancel everything. Gotta be somewhere I get rid of those men for good. Hello, Captain Pinkerton. Pinkerton, it's Harrigan. I'm up in San Romano with Congresswoman Adele Austin of the Military Affairs Committee. Uh, uh, Congresswoman, huh? And you can't wait to start buttering her up, can't you? Oh, well, Harrigan, I tell you, you're without a doubt. Look, Bingy, I don't have time to bicker. I just called to tell you that Miss Austin's coming to Volta Fiore at 9 o'clock tonight. So you better put your house in order quick. What do you mean by a crack like that? Uh, if there's one thing Miss Austin can't stand, it's drinking and gambling and carrying on. <laughs> so take my advice. If you want to make points with her, you better lock up McHale and his carousers for the night. Harrigan, when I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Carpenter, lock up McHale and his carousers for the night. <laughs> There's a congresswoman coming here. If she finds any gambling or drinking, then she... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This could be the answer to my prayer, sir. You already said that. <laughs> I changed my mind about the party. I promised Mikhail and his men a cast party, and I'm going to give it to them. <laughs> Am I going to give it to them? <laughs> Cheers, Elroy. Cheers, sir. Did I hear right, Captain, that the party is still on for tonight? Quint, I am surprised that you're surprised. Weren't you promised a cast party by an officer and a gentleman? Well, no, sir. You promised us. <laughs> love him, love him. <laughs> now, you boys worked hard. You deserve a reward. Oh, oh much yes, obliged. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, fellas. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Captain. Oh, hi. Look who's here, fellas. Hi. Dopey. <laughs> Everything ready for the party? Yes, sir. I ordered more food and more wine, and the villa is all ready for action. And, oh, and the dancing girls are all set, too, sir. Dancing girls? Oh, yes. When I throw a party, I pull out all the stops. Why, back home at the yacht club, they used to call me King of the Wingdings. <laughs> uh, Captain, are you sure that grenade didn't knock some bats loose in your belfry? <laughs> there he goes again. Is he? I've never seen anything like him. Okay, fellas, let's go. See you in the building. All right. Eight o'clock. Have a good time. Thank you very Have much, sir. Enjoy. Enjoy the night. Enjoy. Eat. Live it up. <laughs>
<laughs> because in two hours, when I raid their little orgy with Congresswoman Austin, they're gonna be dead. You, I want you to get over the signal cord. I want you to check out that movie camera again. Movie camera? What for, sir? Well, I want to record this little triumph for posterity and for pumpkin. You get it? <laughs> check WB. <laughs> Lester. Cheers. Here's looking at you. Mmm. <coughs> Bad grape. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I guess I'll get a little air. I'll put back in this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Madam Congresswoman, as the military governor, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome you to Volta Fiori. And I would like to present these to you as a token of my esteem and my respect. Oh, well, thank you, sir, but you really shouldn't have. I have Not to... by the Congresswoman. Yet. Why would I give you any... Oh, I... Oh, well, sir, I thought when... Well, sir, here's the movie camera. It's about time. Did you look in on the party? Oh, yes, sir, I peeked in. And I must say that Commander McHale and his men could certainly teach those Romans a few things. <laughs> good, good. Because when the congresswoman looks in and sees all that carousing, uh -huh. then it's going to be goodbye to the flea-bitten barflies of the 73 and hello, Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> well, you're right, sir. She is bound to have you promoted. Admiral Binghamton. Does have a ring, so it's better. No, I'd say it again. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. Uh -huh. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. Uh -huh. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> Jumping the gun a bit there, ain't you, old boy? Harrigan, I don't have time to talk to you. I'm awfully busy. I'm expecting a congresswoman any minute. Well, don't hold your breath, Wally boy. That's what I called you about. She's not coming to Volta Fiore. I don't care about that because I... She's not what? She's got to fly back to Washington tomorrow, so I talked her into spending the rest of her stay up here. Why, you sneaky, greedy, promotion-grabbing... Nah, nah, Biggie, I know how bad you feel. But uh, think of it this way. Volta Fiore isn't losing an admiral, it's gaining a general. <laughs> Come on, sailor. Hell, <laughs> Rothy. This is the blackest moment of my life. I put on this whole wild party for nothing. Oh, no, sir. It wasn't for nothing. Wasn't? Oh, no, sir. It cost you about 9,000 lira. There was 3,000 for the wine, 3,000 lira for the food. I don't care what it costs. If only Congresswoman Austin could see McHale and his playboys in action. Yes, sir. Well, I might as well take this movie camera back. There'll be nothing to photograph now. I know it. I know it. Don't rub it in your pea brain, you... Wait a minute. I forgot about the camera. Elroy, you're a genius. But, sir, I thought I was a pea brain. Well, you're the world's first pea brain genius. What do you want from me? If she can't go to the party, we'll take the party to her on film in living color. I trust you're getting every sordid detail. Oh, yes, sir. I've already taken two real servo. Oh, this should really make quite a movie. Oh, I agree with you, Elroy. The only thing that is keeping this from being an American classic is it needs a handsome, dashing, leading man. <laughs> but where could we ever find someone like that way out here, sir? I'm him. Yes, of course. I'm going to dash in and I'm going to break up that bacchanal. And I want you to take pictures of me doing it. Oh, yes, sir. You can depend on me, sir. And no matter what happens, keep them rolling. Keep them rolling. <laughs> Cary Grant, here I come. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> Let's drink a toast. To the man who's responsible for this part. Yeah, 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 I'll drink to that. Our old commanding officer, who, although he may have a rough, tough, and gruff exterior, really has a heart of lead. <laughs> All right, you barnacle booze hands, you're under arrest. Arrest? Why are we under arrest? Hmm? Oh, some people come into the room and say hello. He always says you're under arrest. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Guppy Thouder, right here. Yes, you girls, leave me alone. Stop her. Stop her. No kiss her. No kiss her? Go on, kiss him. He loves it. <laughs> now, here. Now, you stop that. You bad girls. You just stop that. I'm a married man. Well, I tell pumpkins. What do we tell pumpkins? Hey, now the party's really picking up. Here, Captain, have some wine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wine. It does look like wine, doesn't it? Uh -huh. It smells like wine, too. Mmm. 
That is why. Huh? <laughs> How about trying your luck with the bones, Captain? Uh, now, now, wait a minute, Groob. I don't think the Captain's a gambling man. Oh, it's okay, Skip. As long as he's the host, he can have the first roll free. <laughs> what do you say, sir? I can cover it up to 500 lira. Uh -huh. I'll take those dice, Groover. <laughs> and I've got a system. I'll show you a system how to get rid of that money. How do you like that system? Yeah, yeah that's a pretty good system. Let me try that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, Captain, you're a real swinger. Hey, right? you're, right? you're the life of the party, Wally, baby. I want to tell you the party is over. Now get up your hands and I'm going to start shooting. Right, come on, Wally, stop kidding. you got to be joking. Well, I'm a hold of hold it, boys. I'm beginning to suspect that the joke is on us. You couldn't be more right, Mikhail. All right, all right. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. Check, WB. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I got it all. Every delicious moment of it. Hey, what's with the camera? What do you do, shoot another movie? That's right, and you're all the stars. You took our picture without asking us? Oh, I'm gonna call my agent. I think you'd be a lot better off if you called your lawyer. Because when Congresswoman Austin sees these films... Congresswoman? Hey, Captain, what's this about a Congresswoman? Such a blabber mouth. You're always... All right, Mikhail. Congresswoman Austin is coming here to the front looking for vice and corruption. And when I show her these films, it's going to be goodbye to the carouses of PT-73. Oh, my oh, God. God. Captain, that's, well, that big is awesome. Well, all right, let's go. If we hurry, we may have the films ready in time for the Academy Awards. <laughs> You've heard of them, haven't you, Academy Awards? <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, don't forget, that congresswoman leaves for Washington tomorrow, so we'll get right on that film, Sergeant. I'll have it for you in the morning, sir. Mm. Oh, uh, Sergeant, uh, make up another print for me to screen in my office. I want to see if the camera catches the uh, real me. <laughs> hey, Biff, come here. Hey, Gruber, baby. I told you I'd pay you that 50 bucks I owe you right after payday. Now, I gotta go. No, 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 no. Now, how would you like to even up that debt right now? Well, I haven't got time for a game right now, Gruber. I gotta work on that film for Binghamton. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. You forget about Binghamton's home movies, and uh, I'm sure Groove will be very glad to forget about that $50 you owe. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay? Oh, now, wait a minute, fellas. Binghamton wants that film first thing in the morning. I deliver him a film. Excuse me, sir. Now, wait, 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 wait a minute, Sergeant. Wait, wait, just a minute. <laughs> okay, you deliver him the film in the morning. But suppose we make a few deletions, you know, like, uh, cut out a few little things? Like what? Like us. Look, why don't we go into your office and talk this whole thing over, huh? I just can't wait to see the world premiere of that award-winning picture, The Decline and Fall of the Mikhail Empire. <laughs> uh, Captain, I... Captain? Captain? Well... Uh, it isn't the Navy's answer to Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> Come right in, boys. You're just in time for a showing of my new movie, sort of a... Sneak preview. Oh, sneak's a good word. It's <laughs> very good. You're going to be awfully funny at the court martial, Chucky. <laughs> Go right in, boys. It's a free showing. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. You don't have to thank me, Mikhail, because after Congresswoman. Hey, ow! Get out of there. You're sick. What's the matter with you? Get over there. Congresswoman sees the other print of this film for you and your party, boys. It's going to be Gone with the Wind. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, sir, Gone. Yes, I sort of like that myself, Elroy. Funny. <laughs> Roll on. Oh, I'm really going to enjoy this, Mikhail. I'd enjoy uh, it a lot more if I had some popcorn. Shut up, you goof. <laughs> you look wonderful, Captain. And so, so brave and, and handsome. Thank you, Elroy. This is one mess you're not gonna lie your way out of, Mikhail, because one picture's worth a thousand words. Oh, you can say that again, sir. <laughs> Just look at you, Captain. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't remember that. My, my, you are having yourself a time, aren't you, Captain? Oh, I've seen winos in my day. <laughs> How did that get in there? That looks like I'm playing dice. <laughs> Why aren't you and your men in that film? Oh, we don't mind, sir. After all, you're the captain, and we're just lowly sailors. 
Boy, look at him go, old Hot Lips Binghamton. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off! Of course, I think it's a little too sexy for the enlisted man. <laughs> Carpenter, yo, dunce you! Why did you keep photographing me? They're the ones I want to frame, I don't, catch. I don't know what happened, so I did take pictures of them. Why, this is ridiculous. That picture makes me look like the biggest carouser since Whiskey Pete. I had to tear you limb from limb. But, sir, it's not my fault. I... Somebody must have edited that film. Oh, don't be. Who could have edited the Who would... Who, who would edit the film? Oh, Mikhail. You and your scissor-happy thugs, you cut yourselves right out of that film, did you? Oh, but, Captain, we're not film editors. Oh, I'm gonna get you for this. Oh, but if I were you, sir, I wouldn't worry about us. I'd start thinking about yourself. Like, um, canceling that shipment of the other print to Congresswoman Austin. Well, I hate to admit it, Mikhail, but you're right. That film could ruin me. Get on the phone. Call a signal corps. Cancel the shipment. Yes, sir. Cancel it, sir? Well, of course, cancel it. Do you know what would happen if that lady Blue Nose saw me running around up there like Irving Orgy or somebody? Do you have any idea what would happen? No, sir. But I think we'll know pretty soon. I already sent her the film. Well, that's good, because I don't... You what? Oh, no, you didn't. Sir, you told me to get it to her as quickly as possible, and you know me. I shipped it out the first thing this morning. Well, you know me, and you'll get it right back here, you boob. Hello. Oh, Harrigan, why do you keep bothering me? Whoa, my Wally. Oh, oh, oh. I've seen some earthy Italian films in my time, but that one you sent Congresswoman Austin. <laughs> That'd be banned as a bachelor smoker. You mean she's seen it already? But I, I can explain it, Colonel. Oh, you'll have your chance. She canceled her flight home, and she's on her way to Volta Fiore to crack down on you and your wicked, wicked ways. <laughs> oh, I never knew you had it in you, you sly old dog, you. <laughs> I mean, uh, the Colonel, uh, you see, uh, couldn't we, uh, couldn't you, uh, Colonel, hello, Colonel, hello. <laughs> oh, Congresswoman has seen the film and she's on her way here. <laughs> well, so long, Wally. Now, wait a minute, just a minute. If she's coming down here to get my scalp, I'm going to see to it that she gets both of your scalps, too. Well, that leaves me out. Well, 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 hold it, hold it, Chuck. Now, now, look, Captain, don't panic. Maybe we can figure out some way. Kill, you did this to me. You edited that film to make me look like the star of an adult movie for Italians only. Oh, sir, you mean an Italian movie for adults only? Yeah, hey, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking. He knows what I mean, and you're gonna get it. Wait a minute, Captain. That could be it. That could be what? Our way out. What's your idea, Miguel? Why, why, why? I'm sorry, madam, but I'm under strict orders not to let anyone through until the captain is finished working. Working, eh? Let me through, sailor, or I'll report you to your draft board. <laughs> captain Binghamton! <gasps> oh. Who are you? I happen to be Congresswoman Adele Cut, Oster. cut, 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 cut. Get your hands directly you cut. Who let this woman in here? How dare you come out to my set in the middle of an important scene? What in heaven's name is going on here? What's going on? I tell you what's going on. This is a gondola race. So what do you think is going on? I'm trying to make in the cinema. Maestro, calm yourself. Don't talk to me. How many times I tell you don't talk to the director? How many times I tell you this is a closed set? No visitor, right? Quiet on the set! Quiet on the set! Oh, is this madman? Oh, madman? Oh, no, mamma. You see, this, this, this is a Signor Federico Parchini. A very famous Italian movie. Right, right. right, I'll do the talking. I'm sorry we can't use you, but don't call us, we call you. Oh, well, uh, uh, maestro, please, please, maestro. Uh, uh, see, this is Miss Austin. She's a United States Congresswoman. I don't care. We can't use you now. No autographs. Oh, I never. Well, you ought to try once in a while. <clears throat> now, I'll just... just a moment, my good man. Oh, Captain, and you, I insist on knowing what is an Italian director doing making a bawdy movie with American personnel on an American military base? Oh, no, ma'am, no, no. This is a, a training film. <laughs> a training film? For which side? Well, uh, you, you see, uh, Monsieur uh, Frederico has uh, graciously offered his talents uh, to, to, to warn the American servicemen of the great dangers that they can expect in a strange country. I find that very commendable, but rather hard to believe. A training film 
with Captain Binghamton in it? Uh, yes, I, I, I sent you the rushes. Didn't you get them? I, I mean, I thought I did rather well. I, uh, well, you <laughs> see, ma'am, that's the genius of Senor Federico. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's all right. I have the ability to make anybody a great star. Even you. <laughs> Of course, of course, it'd be very difficult, but it is possible when my genius arrives to the occasion. But please, Signor Pertini. Now, there is a face like the earth itself. Look at the profile. Look at the nose. <clears throat> well, at the nose. <laughs> but look at the fire in the eyes and the quiver in the lips. You can make you look. I can see that. You can do that, maybe. Oh, you dear man. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Signor Michaela, sign her up for the training film. Uh, no, no, yeah, but, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, the lady can't stay, sir. Yes, yeah, you know, she's got to get back to Washington. Forget yes. Washington, can he make her star? <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Madam Congresswoman, but uh, Lieutenant Cotton is waiting to take you to the airstrip now. You see, he's a... Uh, ah, uh, 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 second thought, Senor Parchini. Uh, uh, using Miss Austin in a film might be uh, an excellent idea. I'm so confused, I don't know what to say. Arrogance here, I'll try to get rid of him. <laughs> oh, no. I'm terribly sorry, Colonel, but my orders are not to let anyone in. Carpenter, I'm warning you for the first and the last time. Ah, Colonel Harrigan. We didn't expect you, sir. I'm sure you didn't, Miguel. Now, what's going on in there, and where is Congresswoman Austin? Oh, well, uh, she's very busy, sir, with uh, Captain Binghamton. They're making a training film. <laughs> uh, so if you'll come back later, sir... Please, mister! <laughs> That's your excuse this time, is it? A phony training film? Uh, yes, sir. No, no! Uh, uh, did you say phony, Colonel? With the great Italian maestro Federico Parchini directing it? Frederico Parchini. Oh, well, I wouldn't think of it. Yes, <laughs> I can uh, say. Uh, All right, knock it off, you phony. The party's over. Uh, Miss Austin, ma'am, I'm sorry for what's happened here. I must apologize. Colonel Harrigan, how dare you come barging in like this? You owe Senior Parchini an apology. <laughs> <laughs> you Philistine. Well, Senior Parchini? Let me tell you how something, about, uh, ma'am. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Colonel. Senior Parchini. Did you hear her deliver those lines? What fire! What talent! Now look here! All all of you. Quiet on the set! Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way you call it this Philistine. Philistine, that's a magnificent. Let me hear that again. Let me go. You Philistine? Ah, ah beautiful! <laughs> I tell you to be quiet. How many times I tell you to be quiet? I'm the decide. I'm the director. Now, take this Philistine off of the set. Close set. <laughs> you heard him, Colonel. You're aggravating, senor. You'll either have to go or be quiet. <laughs> you heard the congresswoman? <clears throat> now, I think in this scene, I play as a woman who is a mature, experienced, but dangerous. I'd sure hate to be the one to tell her she's not really a femme fatale. Wouldn't you, Colonel? I don't care. You simply can't do... Well, you did it to me again. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, such a passion, uh, such a fire. Yeah, I must say, we've had some close calls, but that was... I die! Yankee dogs! Die! Die! Kill him! Hold it, hold it! Kill him! Hold it, hold it! Yeah, now, wait a minute, Fooch. Can't we talk this over? I mean, after all, we're friends, aren't we? Yeah, well, what's this all about? <laughs> I just want you to take some home movies of me so I can show to my girlfriend after the war. Home oh, movies? Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, sure. Captain, I'm caught in this bush. Parker, you nitwit. Cut, cut, cut! <laughs> well, look what you've done, you boob. You ruined the whole scene. Now we gotta shoot this all over again. Back your prices. Oh, not again, Captain. You've been machine gunning us all afternoon. Have a heart, sir. We died 16 times already. You'll be quiet. Nobody likes a pushy bit player. Carpenter, give me more blanks for the retakes. Yes, sir. If you men don't get this thing right, 
I'm gonna start using real bullets. Oh, now look, Captain, we agreed to help you make this battle film so you could send it to your wife, but it's getting late. Yeah, we'd kinda like to rest up for the party tonight. Yeah, that's right, Captain, the cast party that you promised us. There is not going to be any cast party unless you clodhoppers get this thing right. Do you understand that? Now get back to your places. Back to your places. Mm. You're rolling, mine, Captain. Just a minute. Are you ready, Carpenter? Ready any time you are, WB. <laughs> All right, now quiet on the set. Now, I want realism in it this time. I want you to think like Germans and act like Germans. Now, ach, tung, mach schnell. You're rolling, mine, Captain. Oh, and don't you worry, sir. When you yell action this time, it's going to be great. I tell you what, I'll take this grenade, and then I'll have a real sneer on my face like a German, like this. No, you... Chuck, no, you you activated the grenade. Throw it, throw it! Hit the dirt, you guys. Here. Here's your grenade, Captain. That grenade gave me a concussion. <laughs> Captain, sir, I... You bubbling, really? Look what you made me do now. The whole thing is... Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... Well, I, I just wanted to tell you that the bill is all set up. I... Well, uh, you, you see, uh, Monsieur uh, Frederico has... Uh, graciously offered his talents uh, to, to, to warn the American servicemen of the great dangers that they can expect in a strange country. I find that very commendable, but rather hard to believe. A training film with Captain Binghamton in it? Uh, yes, I, I, I sent you the rushes. Didn't you get them? I, I mean, I thought I did rather well. I, uh, well, you see, ma'am, that's the genius of Senor Federico. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's right. I have the ability to make anybody a great star. Even you. <laughs> Me? Of course, sir. Of course, it'd be very difficult, but it is possible when my genius arrives to the occasion. Uh, please, Signor Perchini. <laughs> now, there is a face like the earth itself. Look at the profile. Look at the nose. <clears throat> well, at the nose. <laughs> but look at the fire in the eyes and the quiver in the lips. You can make you look. I can see that. You can do that, maybe. Oh, you dear man. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Signor Michaela, sign her up for the training film. Uh, no, no, yeah, but, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. The lady can't stay, sir. Yes, you know, she's got to get back to Washington. Forget yes. Washington. Can he make her star? <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Madam Congresswoman, but uh, Lieutenant Cotton is waiting to take you to the airstrip now. You see, he's a... Uh, ah, <laughs> on second thought, Signor Parchini, uh, uh, using Miss Austin in a film might be uh, an excellent idea. I'm so confused, I don't know what to say. Arrogant's here. I'll try to get rid of him. <laughs> oh, no. I'm terribly sorry, Colonel, but my orders are not to let anyone in. Carpenter, I'm warning you for the first and the last time. Ah, oh, Colonel Harrigan. We didn't expect you, sir. I'm sure you didn't, Miguel. Now, what's going on in there, and where is Congresswoman Austin? Oh, well, uh, she's very busy, sir, with uh, Captain Binghamton. They're making a training film. Yeah. <laughs> so if you'll come back later, sir... Please, mister! <laughs> That's your excuse this time, is it? A phony training film? Uh, yes, sir. No, no! Uh, uh, did you say phony, Colonel? With the great Italian maestro Federico Parchini directing it? Frederico Parchini. Oh, well, I wouldn't think of it. Yes, <laughs> I can uh, say. <laughs> All right, knock it off, you phony. The party's over. Uh, Miss Austin, ma'am, I'm sorry for what's happened here. I must apologize. Colonel Harrigan, how dare you come barging in like this? You owe Senior Parchini an apology. <laughs> <laughs> you Philistine. Senior Parchini? Let me tell you how something, about, uh, ma'am. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Colonel. Senior Parchini. Did you hear her deliver those lines? What fire! What talent! Now look here! All all of you. Quiet on the set! Now, <laughs> mm. oh, the way you call it this Philistine. Philistine, that's a magnificent. Let me hear that again. Let me go. You Philistine! <laughs> Well, look what you've done, you boob. You ruined the whole scene. Now we gotta shoot this all over again. Back your prices. Oh, not again, Captain. You've been machine gunning us all afternoon. Have a heart, sir. We died 16 times already. You be quiet. Nobody likes a pushy bit player. <laughs> Carpenter, give me more blanks for the retake. Yes, sir. If you men don't get this thing right, I'm gonna start using real bullets. 
Oh, now, look, Captain, we agreed to help you make this battle film so you could send it to your wife, but it's getting late. Yeah, we'd kind of like to rest up for the party tonight. Yeah, that's right, Captain, the cast party that you promised us. There is not going to be any cast party unless your clodhoppers get this thing right. Do you understand that? I'll get back to your places. Back to your places. Mm. You're rolling, mine, Captain. Just a minute. Are you ready, Carpenter? Ready any time you are, WB. <laughs> All right, now quiet on the set. Now, I want realism in it this time. I want you to think like Germans and act like Germans. Now, ach, tongue, mach schnell. You're rolling, mine, Captain. And don't you worry, sir. When you yell action this time, it's going to be great. I'll tell you what, I'll take this grenade, and then I'll have a real sneer on my face, like a German, like this. No, you... Chuck, no, you you activated the grenade. Throw it, throw it! Hit the dirt, you guys. <laughs> Here's your grenade, Captain. That grenade gave me a concussion. <laughs> Captain, sir, I... <laughs> you bumbling, Lily. Look what you made me do now. The whole thing is... Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. But, well, I, I just wanted to tell you that the villa's all set up for the cast party. Cast party? What cast party? Oh, well, the one you promised Commander McHale and his men for helping out in the movie. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, no, sir. You I'm think not... I'd give a party for those assassins after what they did to me out there this afternoon? Oh, but, sir, I've already made the arrangements. The food, the wine, uh, music for dancing. How I about even... mine? Only dancing I want to see are those assassins on the end of a rope. I just can't <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cancel everything. God, if it's somewhere, I get rid of those men for good. Hello, Captain Pegginton. Pegginton? It's Harrigan. I'm up in San Romano with Congresswoman Adele Austin of the Military Affairs Committee. Uh, uh, Congresswoman, huh? And you can't wait to start buttering her up, can't you? Oh, well, Harrigan, I tell you, you're without a doubt. Look, Bingy, I don't have time to bicker. I just called to tell you that Miss Austin's coming to Volta Fiore at 9 o'clock tonight. So you better put your house in order quick. What do you mean by a crack like that? Uh, if there's one thing Miss Austin can't stand, it's drinking and gambling and carrying on. <laughs> so take my advice. If you want to... No, I'd say it again. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. Uh, Admiral Binghamton. Uh, uh, Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> Jumping the gun a bit there, ain't you, old boy? Uh, Harrigan, I don't have time to talk to you. I'm awfully busy. I'm expecting a congresswoman any minute. Well, don't hold your breath, Wally boy. That's what I called you about. She's not coming to Volta Fiore. I don't care about that because I... She's not what? You got to fly back to Washington tomorrow. So I talked her into spending the rest of her stay up here. Why, you sneaky, greedy, promotion-grabbing... Nah, nah, no, Biggie, I know how bad you feel. But uh, think of it this way. Volta Fiore isn't losing an admiral, it's gaining a general. <laughs> Come on, sailor. <laughs> Hell, Roth. This is the blackest moment of my life. I put on this whole wild party for nothing. Oh, no, sir. It wasn't for nothing. Wasn't? Oh, no, sir. It cost you about 9,000 lira. There was 3,000 for the wine, 3,000 lira for the food. I don't and care what it costs. If only Congresswoman Austin could see McHale and his playboys in action. Yes, sir. Well, I might as well take this movie camera back. There'll be nothing to photograph now. I know it. I know it. Don't rub it in your pea brain, you... Wait a minute. I forgot about the camera. Elroy, you're a genius. But, sir, I thought I was a pea brain. Well, you're the world's first pea brain genius. What do you want from me? If she can't go to the party, we'll take the party to her on film in living color. I trust you're getting every sordid detail. Oh, yes, sir. I've already taken two reels, sir. Oh, this should really make quite a movie. Oh, I agree with you, Elroy. The only thing that is keeping this from being an American classic is it needs a handsome, dashing, leading man. <laughs> but where could we ever find someone like that way out here, sir? I'm him. Yes, of course. I'm going to dash in and I'm going to break up that Bacchanal. And I want you to take pictures of me doing it. Oh, yes, sir. You can depend on me, sir. And no matter what happens, keep them rolling. Keep them rolling. <laughs> Cary Grant, here I come. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> Let's drink a toast to the man who's responsible for this party. Yeah, yeah, I'll drink to that. Our old commanding officer. Who? 
although he may have a rough, tough, and gruff exterior, really has a heart of lead. <laughs> Barnacle booze hands, you're under arrest. Arrest? Why are we under arrest? Hmm? Oh, some people come in the room, say hello. He always says you're under arrest. No kisser. Go on, kiss him. He loves it. <laughs> now, here, now you stop that. You bet. Hey, I'm not talking. I'm talking. He knows what I mean, and you're gonna get it. Wait a minute, Captain. That could be it. That could be what? Our way out. What's your idea, Mikhail? Why, why, why? I'm sorry, madam, but I'm under strict orders not to let anyone through until the captain is finished working. Working, eh? Let me through, sailor, or I'll report you to your draft board. <laughs> captain Binghamton. Go. <gasps> oh. Who are you? I happen to be Congresswoman Adele Austin. Cut, 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 cut. Get your hands directly out, cut. Who let this woman in here? How dare you come out to my set in the middle of an important scene? What in heaven's name is going on here? What's going on? I tell you what's going on. This is a gondola race. So what do you think is going on? I'm trying to make in a cinema. Maestro, calm yourself. Don't talk to me. How many times I tell you don't talk to the director? How many times I tell you this is a close set? No visitor, right? Quiet on the set! Quiet on the set! Who is this madman? Oh, madman? Oh, no, madman. You see, this, this, this is a Signor Federico Parchini. Very famous Italian movie. <laughs> but I'll do the talking. I'm sorry we can't use you, but don't call us, we call you. Oh, well, uh, uh, maestro, please, please, maestro. Uh, this, see, this is Miss Austin. She's a United States Congresswoman. I don't care. We can't use you now. No autographs. Oh, I never. Well, you ought to try once in a while. <clears throat> now, I'll just... just a moment, my good man. Oh, Captain, and you, I insist on knowing what is an Italian director doing making a bawdy movie with American personnel on an American military base? Oh, no, ma'am, no, no. This is a, a training film. <laughs> a training film? For which side? Well, uh, you, you see, uh, Monsieur uh, Frederico has uh, graciously offered his talents uh, to, to, to warn the American servicemen of the great dangers that they can expect in a strange country. I find that very commendable, but rather hard to believe. A training film with Captain Binghamton in it? Uh, yes, I, I, I sent you the rushes. Didn't you get them? I, I mean, I thought I did rather well. I, uh, well, you see, ma'am, that's the genius of Signor Federico. Uh, yes, ma'am. That's right. I have the ability to make anybody a great star. Even you. <laughs> Me? Well, of course. Uh, of course, it'd be very difficult. But it is possible when my genius arrives to the occasion. Uh, please, Signor Perchini. <laughs> now, there is a face like the earth itself. Look at the profile. Look at the nose. <clears throat> Well, it annoys me. But look at the fire in the eyes and the quiver in the lips. You can make it. You look. I can see that. You can do that, maybe. Oh, you dear man. <laughs> All right, Senor Michaela, sign her up before the training film. Uh, uh, no, no, yeah, but uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. The lady Ca Austin in a film might be uh, an excellent idea. I'm so confused. I don't know what to say. Arrogance here. I'll try to get rid of him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Colonel, but my orders are not to let anyone in. Carpenter, I'm warning you for the first and the last time. Ah, oh, Colonel Harrigan. We didn't expect you, sir. I'm sure you didn't, Miguel. Now, what's going on in there, and where is Congresswoman Austin? Oh, well, uh, she's very busy, sir, with uh, Captain Binghamton. They're making a training film. <laughs> uh, so if you'll come back later, sir... Please, mister! <laughs> That's your excuse this time, is it? A phony training film. Uh, yes, sir. No, no! Uh, uh, did you say phony, Colonel? with the great Italian maestro Federico Parchini directing it? Federico Parchini? Oh, well, I wouldn't think of it. <laughs> yes, I can uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, knock it off, you phony. The party's over. Uh, Miss Austin, ma'am, I'm sorry for what's happened here. I must apologize. Colonel Harrigan, how dare you come barging in like this? You owe Senior Parchini an apology. <laughs> <laughs> you Philistine. Well, Senior Parchini? Let me tell you how something, about, uh, well, Wait a minute, wait a minute, Colonel. Signor Parchini, did you hear her deliver those lines? What fire! What talent! Now look here! Oh, all of you! Quiet on the set! <laughs> mm. 
No, the way you call it, this Philistine. Philistine, that's a magnificent... Let me hear that again. Let me go. You Philistine. Ah, <laughs> ah beautiful! <laughs> I tell you to be quiet. How many times I tell you to be quiet? I'm the decide. I'm at the director. Now, take this Philistine off of the set. Close set. <laughs> you heard him, Colonel. You're aggravating, senor. You'll either have to go or be quiet. <laughs> you heard the congresswoman? <clears throat> now, I think in this scene, I play as a woman who is a mature, experienced, but dangerous. I'd sure hate to be the one to tell her she's not really a femme fatale. Wouldn't you, Colonel? I don't care. You simply can't do it. Oh, you did it to me again. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful, a such a passion, a such a fire. Yeah, I must say, we've had some close calls, but that was... I died! Yankee dogs! Die! 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 Hold it, hold it! Die! Hold it, hold it! Yeah, now, wait a minute, Fooch. Can't we talk this over? I mean, after all, we're friends, aren't we? Yeah, well, what's this all about? <laughs> I just want you to take some home movies of me so I can show to my girlfriend after the war. Home oh, movies? Yeah, hold that. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Sure. Oh, sure. Congresswoman looks in and sees all that carousing. Oh. Then it's going to be goodbye to the flea-bitten barflies of the 73 and hello, Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> well, you're right, sir. She is bound to have you promoted. Admiral Binghamton. Does have a ring, sir. Sounds beautiful. beautiful. No, I'd say it again. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. Uh -huh. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> Admiral Binghamton. <laughs> Jumping the gun a bit there, ain't you, old boy? Harrigan, I don't have time to talk to you. I'm awfully busy. I'm expecting a congresswoman any minute. Well, don't hold your breath, Wally boy. That's what I called you about. She's not coming to Volta Fiore. I don't care about that because I... She's not what? You got to fly back to Washington tomorrow. So I talked her into spending the rest of her stay up here. Why, you sneaky, greedy, promotion-grabbing... Now, now, Biggie, I know how bad you feel. But uh, think of it this way. Volta Fiore isn't losing an admiral, it's gaining a general. <laughs> Come on, sailor. Hell, <laughs> Rothen. This is the blackest moment of my life. I put on this whole wild party for nothing. Oh, no, sir. It wasn't for nothing. It wasn't? Oh, no, sir. It cost you about 9,000 lira. There was 3,000 for the wine, 3,000 lira for the food. I don't and care what it costs. If only Congresswoman Austin could see Mikhail and his playboys in action. Yes, sir. Well, I might as well take this movie camera back. There'll be nothing to photograph now. I know it. I know it. Don't rub it in your pea brain, you... Wait a minute. I forgot about the camera. Elroy, you're a genius. But, sir, I thought I was a pea brain. Well, you're the world's first pea brain genius. What do you want from me? If she can't go to the party, we'll take the party to her on film in living color. Three thousand there you gotta make. What? Oh, I trust you're getting every sordid detail. Oh, yes, sir. I've already taken two reels, sir. Oh, this should really make quite a movie. Oh, I agree with you, Elroy. The only thing that is keeping this from being an American classic is it needs a handsome, dashing, leading man. <laughs> but where could we ever find someone like that way out here, sir? I'm him. Yes, of course. I'm going to dash in and I'm going to break up that Bacchanal. And I want you to take pictures of me doing it. Oh, yes, sir. You can depend on me, sir. And no matter what happens, keep them rolling. Keep them rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Cary Grant, here I come. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> Let's drink a toast. To the man who's responsible for this party. Yeah, 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 I'll drink to that. Our old commanding officer, who, although he may have a rough, tough, and gruff exterior, really has a heart of lead. <laughs> All right, you barnacle booze hounds, you're under arrest. Arrest? Why are we under arrest? Hmm? Oh, some people come in the room, say hello. He always says you're under arrest.